Tony Macia with the Charlotte Ledger. It's Flyover Friday, and we're here at Camp North End, a 76-acre development project on the outskirts of Uptown, where they're taking a series of old industrial buildings and converting them into a funky mix of offices, retail, and restaurants. It's the biggest adaptive reuse project going on in Charlotte. So what's the thinking behind Camp North End? What's the vision? Yeah, so the vision is 76 acres full of creative office, retail, food, beverage, entertainment, really great public spaces, lots of public art, and a lot of fresh air for people to come out and enjoy and uh, explore 76 acres just a mile outside of Uptown Charlotte. Well, great. How are things going out here? Things are going great. We've got uh, 12 food and beverage tenants on site, open and operating right now. Um, office leasing is going great. We've got shell space available. We've got spec suites available. In a COVID friendly world, we've restarted our Friday night activations at Camp North End. Everybody spread apart across 76 acres, activating different parts of the site with live music over here and DJs over there and food and beverage throughout. And it's a really great kind of socially distanced way for people to get out of their house and into the fresh air. So this is a site, you have a rail line going through the middle of it, you have old industrial buildings that if you were building today wouldn't be how you would lay out a site. What are some of the challenges of developing Camp North End? Yeah, so the history of Camp North End is Ford Motor Company built it. 300,000 square foot Model T and Model A factory in 1924, right in the middle of the site. And when the US Army took over the property in World War II, they built a million square feet of offices surrounding the Ford factory. And each of those warehouses built by the Army are a quarter mile long. And so one of our challenges is breaking down the scale of the site, making it more pedestrian friendly, cutting passageways through these buildings to create more of a street grid uh, and create more of a connected fabric to the existing Charlotte urban grid. And so um, you'll see as we walk around the site today where we have pedestrian passageways, we've cut streets through buildings and left the structure overhead uh, and lined uh, each side of the street with really great retail and food and beverage tenants. Camp North End's office space is set up ideally for a post-COVID world. All of our buildings, because they're single story, there's no elevators, there are no shared lobbies. All of our office spaces, including the one that we're in right now, have multiple entrances and exits directly to the exterior. All of our common areas are outdoors, many of them covered, uh, lots of opportunities for fresh air. Each office suite has its own self-contained HVAC system that lets in more fresh air than a traditional, typical uh, office space. And, and also each office suite has its own restroom. Great, what's the latest out here and what's next? So we've just opened a number of food and beverage tenants. Lee and Louise, which is chef Greg Collier and his wife Sabrina Collier's new restaurant uh, just opened at the Mount at Camp North End. We've just opened our Keswick restaurant pavilions. We'd love to have you come out to Camp North End for a tour. You can find us online at camp.nc. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Camp North End. Or if you've never been out here, come out for a Friday night or contact us directly and we'll give you a tour anytime. Great, Tommy. All right, well, thanks. I'm Tony Macia with the Charlotte Ledger. Thanks for joining us.